Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today we have compiled a list of 20 tall cactus plants that grow well indoors or outdoors. Tall cactus plants are a great way to add color, texture, and height to your home. If you have the right spot for these plants, you can achieve marvelous results. We're going to discuss some of the best tall cactus plants that you can use in your indoors or outdoors. Whether you are looking for a beautiful cactus to add to your collection of houseplants, or you want to create a unique and attractive centerpiece for your home, you'll be able to find the perfect one. So, let us get started. Number 1. Mexican Fence Post Cactus, Pachycerius marginatus. The Mexican Fence Post Cactus is a cactus native to Mexico. It grows in the hot, dry climate of the Sonoran Desert. As its name suggests, it's often used as a fence post in its native habitat. The Mexican Fence Post Cactus can grow to be quite large. It's one of the tallest cacti in the world. It can reach heights of over 20 feet but most specimens only grow to be about 10 feet tall in cultivation. Wild specimens tend to be taller and more robust, as they usually get more time to grow and come into their own. Keep in mind that these cacti are incredibly slow growers, taking multiple decades to get as tall as they do. Cultivated specimens simply don't have the conditions or the time needed to get to their ultimate height. Number 2. Blue Myrtle Cactus, Miatilla Cactus Geometrizans the blue myrtle cactus is a cactus native to Mexico. It's a columnar cactus that can grow up to 15 feet tall and 16 feet wide. The stems are blue-gray in color with prominent white ribs. Although it is a columnar cactus, it grows in the shape of a candelabra, growing sideways instead of upwards, putting up more branches rather than increasing the height of the main branch. The result is a tree-shaped cactus, impressively large when fully grown and a sight to behold. It is also called the blue candle cactus for the strong resemblance a fully grown specimen has with an upright candelabra. Number 3. Candelabra Cactus, Euphorbia Lachia. The candelabra cactus is native to India, Thailand, and Sri Lanka, where it grows in tropical forests. The plant can reach up to 15 feet in height, but the more common varieties only get to about 6 feet. The candelabra cactus gets its name from its unusual growth habit. The main stem looks like a candelabrum, with many branches, coming off of it at regular intervals. Some varieties of this cactus tend to grow in batches of columns, with each branch of the candelabra growing completely upright towards the sky. Others like to spread out, like a more traditional depiction of a candelabra. Number 4. Organ Pipe Cactus, Sinotria sterberi. The Organ Pipe Cactus is a type of columnar cactus native to Mexico. It gets its common name from the shape of its trunk which grows in the shape of a pipe organ. The main trunk is not immediately obvious in most cases, and it resembles a basally branched plant rather than a true cactus. This is one of the tallest cacti in the world, with some specimens reaching a height of over 20 feet. However, it's more common to see plants that are 10 to 15 feet tall. The individual stems are 6 to 12 inches in diameter and grow close together, giving the plant a tree-like appearance. Number 5. Blue Columnar Cactus, Pilosotrius pachyclatus. The Blue Columnar Cactus is a large cactus native to Mexico. It gets its common name from its blue-green stems, which are long and slender, resembling columns. This cactus can grow quite tall, up to 33 feet, although it's more commonly seen at around 10 feet. It is one of the tallest cacti in the world, and coupled with its unique coloration, it looks quite spectacular when completely mature. The stems are quite thin at least in relation to the overall length, only about 5 inches in diameter. They're covered in spines that vary in size and color, from white to yellow to brown as they age. Number 6. Mexican Giant Cardon Cactus, Pachycerius Pringlet. The Mexican Giant Cardon Cactus is the tallest cactus in the world, reaching a height of over 60 feet. It's native to Mexico's Baja California Peninsula and can be found in other parts of Mexico as well. Looking for a tall cactus? Well, you found the tallest one. It doesn't get any taller than this. Mexican Giant Cardon Cactus is also called the False Seguero because of its strong resemblance. Seguero is another tall cactus, among the tallest, and we'll cover it in a bit as well. Number 7. Golden Barrel Cactus, Echina Cactus Grusoniae. The Golden Barrel Cactus is a slow-growing cactus that can reach up to 2 to 3 feet in height. It's native to Mexico and is one of the most popular cacti grown in gardens and landscaping. It has a spherical shape with deeply ribbed sides. The spines are golden yellow, hence the common name. The flowers are also yellow and bloom from May to June. They're followed by small, edible fruits that have a sweet flavor. The golden and green contrast is a treat for the eyes. 
and in the early stages, when the plant is perfectly spherical, it makes a gorgeous houseplant to be displayed on a windowsill or desktop. Number 8. Old Man Cactus, Cephalotria senilis. The Old Man Cactus is a slow-growing cactus native to Mexico. It gets its name from the shaggy white hair that covers its body, which makes it look like an old man. The hair protects the plant from extreme heat and sun exposure. This tall cactus can grow quite large if given enough time. In its natural habitat, it can reach up to 50 feet in height. But when grown in a pot, it's more likely to max out around 12 feet. Number 9. Sagaro Carnegia Gigantea The Sagaro cactus is one of the most iconic plants in the American Southwest. These massive cacti can grow up to 40 feet tall and live for over 150 years. The flowers of Sagaro are the state wildflower of Arizona. When you think of Mexico and the American desert, an image of a desert wasteland of the large cactus pops up in your head. The cactus is the Sagaro. Tall specimens are only found in the wild or national parks. Number 10. Eve's Needle Cactus, Ostracil and Dropuntia subulata. The Eve's Needle Cactus is a large cactus that's native to the Peruvian Andes. It's known as the Eve's Needle Cactus due to the stark resemblance of its leaves to awls used in leatherworking. As its common name suggests, this cactus has long needle-like spines that can grow up to 6 inches in length. The needles are fat, yellow-green protrusions that look nothing like regular leaves. They're fleshy at the bottom and taper off at the top, looking like an upside-down awl. They're also quite brittle and will snap easily if they bend too far. Number 11. Sinita Cactus, Pachyceria scottii. The Sinita Cactus is a tall cactus that's native to Mexico. It grows in the Sonoran Desert and gets its common name from the Spanish word for old woman. It is also called old man cactus for the same reason. This cactus gets quite large, reaching heights of up to 15 feet. The tips of the stems are covered with a tuft of long bristle-like spines. This gives the cactus the appearance of having the head, so to speak, that has more spines than the rest of the body. This is where it gets its common name. Number 12. Totem Pole Cactus, Pachyceria scottii monstrosus. The totem pole cactus is a type of columnar cactus that's native to Mexico. It's easily recognizable by its long, bumpy, unblemished green stems that can grow up to 12 feet tall. The plant gets its common name from its resemblance to a totem pole. This tall cactus is not for the faint of heart. It looks quite freaky at first glance. The entire body of this tall cactus is entirely bare. No spines, no areolas that you can see from afar. It's an unbroken wall of green that stretches up towards the sky. On top of that, the stem crests outwards in medium-sized bumps. These are the areolas. These bumps look like carved faces, like the ones you would see on a red Indian totem pole. Number 13. Peruvian Apple Cactus, Sirius Peruvianus. The Peruvian apple cactus grows in South America and gets its name from its apple-like fruit. It's a tall cactus from the Sirius genus. It is also called the giant club cactus and the hedge cactus. It's an erect, tree-like plant that can reach up to 10 meters tall. The stems are green when young, but they turn brown and woody with age. One specimen in India has grown over 110 feet with the support of a scaffold. This makes it technically the largest cactus in the world, but it never grows to that height in natural conditions. The specimen in India is considered an oddity and not representative of the overall species. Number 14. Silver Torch Cactus, Clestocactus strassii. The silver torch cactus is a fast-growing cactus that can reach heights of up to 10 feet if given the right conditions. Though it remains half that length in most cases, it's a native of Bolivia and Argentina. This tall cactus gets its common name from the silvery sheen of its spines. The plant is covered in long, sharp spines that grow up to 3 inches in length. These are modified leaves that serve to protect the plant from predators. Number 15. African Milk Tree, Euphorbia trigona. The African milk tree is a cactus-like succulent that originates from the tropical regions of Africa. It's a fast-growing plant that can reach up to 9 feet in height. The stems are triangular and have sharp spines along the edges. The three sides are distinctly ridged, with the ridges lined with sharp spines and small teardrop-shaped leaves. This plant can be grown indoors as a houseplant or outdoors as a garden feature. As a houseplant, it will limit itself to the size of the pot, meaning if you have a medium-sized pot, You'll have a medium sized African milk tree. Number 16. Cardin Echinopsis atacamsis. The cardin is a tall, ranching, columnar cactus that's native to Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. It can grow up to 33 feet in height and has a main trunk with a diameter of about 30 inches. 
It has a tree-like growth habit, giving off branches from the main stem. Wild specimens often look like candelabras, but the branches rarely stay the same height. Some get much, much taller than the others. This lack of symmetry is apparent in wild species quite often. The spines of the Echinopsis atacamsis are short, thin, and relatively harmless. They're more of an annoyance than anything else. The main attraction of this plant is its flowers, which appear along the length of the plant in summer. Number 17. Cardin Espinoso, Pachystrius weberi. Cardin Espinoso is a type of cactus native to Mexico. It's one of the tallest cacti in the world, with some specimens reaching up to 20 feet in height. The Cardin Espinoso has a massive trunk that can grow up to 3 feet in diameter. The plant's thick, green skin protects it from the harsh desert sun and helps it store water for long periods. The spines on its body are also quite sharp, so be careful when handling it. What sets this tall cactus apart is its growth habit. It branches from near the base of the main trunk. This has the effect of it looking like a massive candelabra. Number 18. Fairy Castle Cactus, Echinthostrius tetragonus. Fairy Castle Cactus is a popular houseplant that's native to Mexico and the southwestern United States. It's easily recognizable by its deeply ribbed, convoluted stems that are covered in sharp spines. The Faraday Castle Cactus grows rather slowly and reaches its ultimate height of up to six feet. This tall cactus has five distinct ribs on each stem, and the stem branch out from the main trunk quite frequently. Regular pruning is the name of the game here. If you want your Faraday Castle Cactus looking its best, you'll have to cut off the excess quite often. Number 19. Grey Ghost Organ Pipe, Stenostrius pruinosus. The Grey Ghost Organ Pipe Cactus is a species of cactus that is native to Mexico. It gets its common name from its stem, which is gray-green. The Grey Ghost Organ Pipe Cactus is a slow-growing tall cactus that can reach up to 16 feet in height. When it's young, it has a slim columnar shape, but as it matures, it tends to branch out and take on a more tree-like form. A fully mature specimen with lots of branches looks like an overgrown organ pipe, hence the name. The plant produces beautiful white flowers that emerge from the tips of newly growing stems. These flowers only bloom at night, and they close up during the day. Number 20. Blue Cactus, Pylososrius purpureus. Blue Cactus is native to Mexico and the Caribbean. It has bright blue stems, which make this tall cactus stand out from all the rest. This large cactus can grow to impressive sizes, reaching up to 15 feet tall and 6 feet wide. It has a columnar shape with many ribs running along its length. The spines are long and sharp, providing an effective deterrent for would-be predators. Even though it's native to Mexico, it can be found in other parts of the world as well.